What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to paint snow onto a surface. I just want to say a quick shout out to my Patreon supporter Neil. Thank you very much for supporting the channel. You will receive your reward soon. Um, if you do want to support the channel and you don't know where to do it, there will be a link in the description um, to my Patreon account so you can actually support the channel. So, today, like I said, I'm going to paint snow onto a surface. So, basically, I'm going to split this up into two tutorials. I'm going to do a simple one where I show how to just basically um, do sort of this here where if I can I start painting yep I can start sort of removing snow or if I flip it I can start adding snow so um, this is using just a basic white texture on top of um, just some concrete texture and in a different video I will show you sort of similar to that <clears throat> except if I come over here I showed this in a previous tutorial where basically I'm able to change the amount it fills it. So I'll show how to basically use vertex painting to sort of paint that on instead of just changing values. But that'll be a separate video. So let's get started with this. Oh, just come over here and let's go material. And let's call this um, painting snow. Yeah, we'll throw that on. And let's open that up. And let's um, throw it over here. And one thing you'll definitely need to do is in your Maya document or 3ds Max or Blender, whatever you're using, just make sure you have lots of vertices on your plane. This is quite demanding, but the more vertices you have, the smoother the sort of vertex paint will be. So um, coming back to this, so the first thing you need to do is we need to put the concrete texture in here. So if we just minimize this, and we write, actually if I just click on here, got that, we can find it, there we go. And we'll drag that in, and we'll full screen that. So, we'll move all of these and we'll get them in the right places. So I'm going to want color at the top. So you can put these in any order you want, it's just when it connects up, obviously base colors at the top. Uh, roughness is there, so put that there, normal's here. And we'll need another one down here. Uh, for our tessellation so we need to make four lerps for this so to make a lerp hold L left click let's roll them in and we'll connect all of these to B to B and create two values down here B um, B will represent the concrete, so zero because um, <clears throat> for B value because we don't want the concrete to raise, but for the A value we're going to put maybe ten because we want the snow to raise off of the um, concrete quite a bit, so it actually looks like it's sitting on it. Now we need to make a vertex color. So what a vertex color is is this is sort sort of your foundation for vertex painting. All of these will represent <coughs> your um, sort of your different vertex colors you can uh, paint onto the surface. So because we're only going between two colors, I usually just use the alpha channel. If I was going between sort of like five or four different, or even like two different um, materials or three different materials, I'd go between like red, green, and blue. But yeah, because I'm just going between two, I usually use alpha. All right. So now um, I'm gonna quickly put in a ooh, a subtract here then a blend here because that will just change how my concrete looks you guys will sort of just be using your own material here I'm assuming anyway um, because you are probably gonna want to use it for a specific scene right, so after you've done that um, I did not want to put that in B value so I'm just gonna sit there there we go now we need to start making our snow so I'm just using a free constant. You can download a snow texture. You don't have to um, just use a free constant. I'm just using a free constant because I'm just sort of showing you how to set up sort of the basics. Um, snow is not very shiny, I don't believe, so about 0.8. This actually needs changing. Like I said, you might not have any problems with your textures, but this is way too dark for me. So I'm just going to put in this. 
Now we'll just make it lighter. Uh, we can start connecting these up now, actually. So boom. Boom. Um, to If something doesn't have any normals, um, but you still need it to sort of go between two, you can just um, get free constant, uh, put the blue value to one, and that will just keep it flat. You can have um, snow normals if you want, so that way you can have it looking bumpy. And last one is our tessellation. So we need to actually put a multiply in here. So M left click, connect that up. Then all we need to do is put a vertex normal in. And then connect that up to our tessellation. Now, World position, world tessellation. There you go. Now we need to click on our material. We need to actually turn on tessellation. Then this looks pretty much done. So you can just start highlighting and moving away, and then pushing C to make a comment box and start just labeling some of these. So color, roughness, normals. Oh, it's saved. <clears throat> I might do a video to show you guys how to disable auto saving because it can be very annoying, especially when it takes, especially if you're doing a really big project, it takes ages to auto save. Because auto saving, I've never been able to recover anyway, so I find it quite useless. Um, and this is our tessellation. And I believe I've put one of these in the wrong order, but let's do it. And then, uh... no, all of that looks fine. Click apply. That should be some basic snow setup. Let me quickly. Let's have a click here. And we put our brush on and we wait for it to load. There we go. We should start being able to paint. So if we sort that over, let's paint the values on. I do, yeah. I've definitely put the tessellation the wrong way around. So we could just come into here. Oh, that's what we messed up. I need to put that into there and that into B. Sorry about that, guys. And then I click apply. Yeah, because the snow was supposed to be an A value while the um, concrete was supposed to be in B. So after that's fixed, we should be able to start painting it. There we go. I mean, what I usually do is I usually paint a large amount of it. Then I usually um, just start rubbing out to give it a bit of a smoother effect. And yeah, that's pretty much how you just set up some basic snow. So like I said, in my next video, I will show how to do this a bit more advanced using sort of cobblestone and actually having it fill up the gaps. Um, and then you'll be able to turn it on and off how much you want it to fill it up. So yeah. That's how you do that. Thank you for much watching. As I said um, at the start of the video, if you do want to support the channel, there's a Patreon, description, a Patreon link in the description. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any more suggestions, leave a comment or message me on Twitter and I will try to do a video based on your suggestion.